corporate CEOs have a secret they don't want you to know about. And that's how much money they're basically stealing from their workers. And the Republicans are their comp, accomplices in this. I mean, they're, they're right, a lot, right there next to them. Actually, the Republicans are the wholly owned division of the corporate CEOs. This has come out this week because last year, you know, the old Dodd-Frank bill, uh, well, it's not old, it's new, but it was the Wall Street Reform Bill. Here in D.C., I've been seeing these ads on TV that say, repeal Dodd-Frank. They don't say, you know, uh, there's some group, you know, Americans for Tax uh, Insanity or something, or whatever it is, that is running these ads. And, uh, but they don't, you know, they don't tell you who they are. And they're probably Wall Street types who don't like the transparency, but they could be CEO types because the CEOs, there was this little piece. It's actually a small piece of the bill in the Dodd-Frank Wall Street Reform Bill that says that companies have to disclose to the government, and then the government can publish it. It becomes a public document. The ratio of pay between the CEO and the janitor, basically, the, to the most highly paid person and the most lowly paid person in the company. It forces corporations to disclose how big is the pay gap. As in how much more money the big wigs in the corporate office make sitting on their butts all year versus how much money the factory floor workers make busting their butts all year. The theory behind this was that if people knew how big a pay gap was, it would shame the CEOs into taking less pay or maybe paying their janitors or their, their workers better. It used to work, you know, back in the 70s, average CEO pay was 30 times the average worker. Why? Because back in the 70s, the top tax rate after you made a couple million bucks uh, a year was 91%. So CEOs said, hey, you know, why should I even bother taking more money out of the company? It's just going to all go to Uncle Sam. I'll leave it in the business. We'll grow the business. We'll buy a new ad. You know, we'll use this money to hire an ad agency and do a new ad campaign and promote our products and grow our business. And that's why businesses were growing in the 50s and 60s and 70s. And then Ronald Reagan came along and dropped that top tax rate on CEOs from, at that point, 74% down to 28%. And guess what? All of a sudden, the CEOs are making 400 times 500 times, 1,000 times, Wall Street, 2,000 times the average worker. Do you really think that any CEO is worth 2,000 times an average worker? Do they even think that they are? You know, if they thought that they were, they probably wouldn't object to this, this transparency requirement in Dodd-Frank that says that they've got to say, you know, how many, you know, what the ratio is in the pay. But 81 CEOs from 81 of the biggest corporations in America, including General Dynamics, Bank of America, McDonald's, IBM, they started this huge lobbying effort to repeal the CEO pay disclosure law. And so what did Republicans do? Republicans who control the House of Representatives? They passed a bill. It was last, last Thursday or Friday, as I recall. They passed a bill that said, yeah, CEOs don't have to reveal that. Now, it's not going to make it through the Senate. But bottom line, CEOs speak, Republicans jump.